Hey guys, Jones here. Today I wanted to take a few minutes to tell you about these uh, very cheap, very high performance sharpening stones that I acquired. Um, I originally purchased it about a year ago to uh, replane a set of uh, oil stones. And I didn't want to use a DMT diamond stone or anything to do that because I didn't want to risk messing it up or you know uh, wearing out the diamonds. So I just figured I'd purchase uh, a cheap one, replane my stones, and then chunk it, you know, if it got damaged or worn out. And surprisingly, after uh, replaning three oil stones, the uh, the diamond surfaces were perfectly broken in. This is the one I actually used right here, both sides. Um, and, and when I saw that that it lasted that long and did that much work and was still, you know more than able to uh, to cut through metal and remove blade material I went and purchased two more this is how they come just a a double sided you know stone um, you have two stainless steel plates impregnated with industrial grade diamonds uh, bonded to a a very strong plastic core um, two grits uh, the manufacturer says it's medium grit and fine grit uh, really the medium grit is more like coarse and the fine is rather fine. From my experience the coarse is between 200 and 300 grit and the fine is about 600 grit once you actually break it in. Um, it does take you know a little while to break a diamond stone in but once you break it in you will love it. You know it cuts great, it's efficient, it's effective and it leaves you with a very aggressive edge. Now probably the most attractive part about these stones is the price. $7.25 plus free shipping. They are available on Amazon.com. The seller's name is Hobby Tool Supply. Uh, and I, I highly suggest you pick up a set. You know, whether you're a, a novice sharpener or you've been sharpening for 40 or 50 years, it makes a great sharpening stone. You know, for seven dollars twenty-five cents, you can buy several of them, and you know, throw some in your bug out bag or or whatever, just so you can reprofile or sharpen on the go. Uh, mainly, the reason I'm making this video is for the people out there who want to try their hand at sharpening, and you know, get their knives sharp. And I believe everybody, you know, deserves the privilege of having a sharp knife or at least experiencing it, because once you experience a sharp knife you will never want to use a dull knife again and that's why I'm showing you these because a lot of the people out there that you know are new to sharpening they can't really bring themselves to go and spend you know sixty plus dollars on just a single stone and uh... that's why you go and get these seven dollars and twenty five cents anybody can afford that free shipping makes it even better um, they are very high performance uh... now the fit and finish I mean it's not bad um, basically the only issue is just that the uh, little plastic centerpiece isn't perfectly flush with the uh, the metal plated sides but who cares you know you're not going to be using the plastic to sharpen or anything as far as diamond stones go you know DMT really makes a superior product but they are rather pricey and you can pick one of these up for a tenth the price and it you know does every bit of sharpening that DMT will. Now I, I'm going to give you an idea of the edge you can get using one of these stones. I reprofiled this Kershaw compound about a week ago and this is about as perfect as you're going to be able to get a freehand edge. Um, the edge bevels are flat ground uh, which I've heard some people out there say that sharpening freehand you will not be able to achieve a flat edge bevel that it will always be convex and that's simply not the case uh, I, I will say that it does require quite a bit more precision and attention to detail to get a flat edge bevel and it, it takes a little bit more time but from my experience I greatly prefer a flat edge bevel simply because it's easier for me to touch up you know I can just lay the, the bevel flat on the stone and uh, touch up the edge which means that I will not have to reprofile the edge nearly as often which means that the blade will last longer because I'm not constantly having to remove material just to make my knife sharp again now 
sharpen that, I started out on the coarse, you know, brought it to a burr on each side, then moved to the fine, did the same thing, and after that, it, it will shape hair, um, but I am very anal about, you know, sharpening and my edges and their cutting ability. So after that, I move on to this. This is a sandpaper block I made. Just a normal piece of wood that I sent through a planer to make sure that the surface is perfectly flat. And then I rubber cemented a piece of 2000 grit wet dry sandpaper on top. And this is great. Um, it will remove a burr if you have a burr, but it'll also uh, tighten up your scratch pattern a whole lot and leave you with just a scary sharp edge that is very sticky and aggressive and will cut through just about anything. But also, it will be able to uh, whittle hairs. And that's kind of the best of both worlds because I do like a toothy edge, but I like that toothy edge to be refined and able to whittle hairs or tree type hairs. And once again, because I am anal about sharpening, I generally take it a step farther. I've been using this for quite some time now. It's the uh, Hand American 0.5 Micron Diamond Spray. It's good stuff. Put it on your strop, and uh, it, it'll take most people's sharpening to an entirely new level. Mainly, I prefer it just for touching up edges when they get dull, uh, simply because it, it's fast and it's easy. And uh, if I don't have to take my blade to stones, I, I'm thrilled because you know I don't want to have to take off more and more metal every time. You know, I just need to get my knife uh, sharp again, and that's where it excels. Is just a quick sharpening job that will take your edges to at least hair whittling sharp. So once again guys, I highly recommend these stones. Um, they're cheap. They they cut great. They uh, sharpen knives very well. And let me show you where you can get them. Again. Uh, Hobby Tool Supply on Amazon. $7.25 plus free shipping. And this is the title listing right here. Diamond Sharpening Stone hyphen hone block hyphen two inches by six inches double sided fine plus medium once again I highly recommend these whether you're a novice sharpener or you've been sharpening for 50 years they work great they're cheap what's more to say so I won't take up any more of your time guys uh, go and try yourself a set thanks for watching and I will see you next time